The Juno spacecraft has been orbiting Jupiter since mid-2016 and has been sending back some of the most stunning images of our solar system to date. One of the most iconic features of the Jupiter atmosphere, aside from the red spot, is its differently colored belts and zones stretching horizontally across the planet. The dark regions are sinking gas, and the lighter regions are rising gas, and they're separated by jet streams moving east to west across the planet at speeds topping 500 kilometers an hour. Along with a multitude of cyclones and eddies, these bands represent the most visible part of what is known as the weather layer on Jupiter. But how deep does that weather layer go? New data from Juno shows that these bands of moving gas go as deep as 3,000 kilometers into the atmosphere of Jupiter, which means as much as 1% of Jupiter's mass is involved in its weather layer. For comparison, Earth's weather layer, our atmosphere, makes up 1 1 millionth of percent of our total mass. Juno has also been studying the poles of Jupiter, and on both the North and the South Pole, there's a massive central cyclone surrounded by multiple smaller cyclones. And the storms are so densely packed together, they're basically rubbing up against each other, and it leaves atmospheric scientists wondering why they aren't merging or being torn apart. As often is the case in science, better instruments usually lead to more questions. Now, Juno has six months left on its primary mission, and that's plenty of time to find more clues to understanding the Jovian atmosphere.